Hey guys, on this episode, we'll check out a flying VR machine. Icaros, created by Michael Schmidt, is a virtual reality gaming machine that doubles as a piece of fitness equipment. The machine is controlled by first wearing a VR headset, then climbing onto the machine and using your body weight to tilt it forwards, backwards, or side to side. While doing so, you'll be playing a game which is controlled by a controller that is mounted onto one of the handles. It has a 6 hour battery life with only 30 minute charge time. I can see the Icaros getting popular as it gives one a sense of flying like Iron Man or Superman. Now the fitness element comes in the form of the plank. To be able to play this VR game, you'll have to continuously hold a plank to be able to control this machine. If you're unfamiliar with the plank, it's basically holding a push-up position which requires a strong core. The average person can't hold the plank for longer than a minute, but that doesn't mean you'll only be playing this VR game for only a minute. The point of contacts on the machine are actually at the elbows and knees, making it much easier than the average plank, as well as the fact you'll be leaning backwards a lot of the time, which tends to be closer to standing versus doing a plank. The machine also has a rolled dampening knob which controls how much tension is on the center frame making it easier or harder. It's more likely the average person will be able to play for about 15 to 30 minutes before needing to take a break. The Icarus is completely adjustable for different people of different heights but I should note that it requires a Galaxy S6 or S7 phone that needs to be placed into the VR headset. Without that you'll just be rolling around in your living room. One other thing is multiplayer is possible with the Icaros as long as you have multiple Icaros machines. If you want to pick one up, they sell for $8,400. Not the cheapest piece of gaming or workout equipment out there, but hey, if you got the cash, why not? I can see this thing getting popular once some solid game developers start making games for it. What do you guys think of this? Would you guys like to try it? Could you see yourself using this thing every day? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to join the notification squad, hit that bell button, turn on notifications, and while you're at it, like the video. 